is a Fox 17 winter weather alert. Okay, let's see what's going on with the weather forecast now. Uh, Grand Rapids, so once again, dodging the bullet with the uh, heaviest snow. I have measured uh, right about an inch here at Fox 17 on the north side of GR. Would suspect that the, the majority of the Grand Rapids proper area has gotten about an inch. But once you get just southward into northern Allegan and reports from northern, that northern third of Allegan and into Berry County, there are reports of three to four to even five inches or so of snow pretty narrow corridor but with that lake effect influence it has brought in heavier banding now most of this is toning down at this point in time to just scattered flurries here in Grand Rapids you can write it off we're not going to be picking up any more accumulations just flurries into the overnight there's some snow reports these are the official reports from the National Weather Service. Yes, I understand that uh, if you live in a few of these communities or nearby a few of those communities in Allegan County, you may be saying, well, I've got more than, uh, you know, the three or three and a half. I've got more like four and a half, five, five and a half, maybe in some very localized areas. I get that. I understand it. But uh, these are the official tallies from the National Weather Service within the past hour. Holland at about an inch and a half, though I have seen reports of nearer or heard about reports nearer two or slightly more than that in the Holland area. These winter weather advisories officially until 4 a.m. But for all intents and purposes, uh, you could end that uh, right about uh, midnight or 1 a.m. This is toning down as we speak. Let's go to the radar and uh, still some snow showers, though, over central and eastern Allegan into Berry and e Eaton County. So accumulating to some degree in that vicinity of our viewing area and then down to the south cross Berry and Cass, St. Joseph and Branch counties. But to clearly in Grand Rapids, we're backing down still a little bit of lake effect there, though, over southern Muskegon, stretching southward into Ottawa County as well. So Ottawa County picking up uh, a fair amount of snow out of this, uh, too. I haven't seen anything on the order of three to five inches there, but to probably a couple inches or so I would think for a good number of locations within Ottawa County and here are those deeper purples that have been uh, enveloping the majority of the viewing area ever since we were on with the five and six o'clock show but uh, that back edge of the snow is going to be sweeping on through by about 12 12 30 one o'clock this upper level disturbance which I had painted out through western Wisconsin on the earlier shows that making progress moving pretty swiftly now but uh, still some trailing light uh, lake effects snow showers and flurries behind it so those can be out there in the overnight, just not accruing to a whole lot more. Here's the model at 1 a.m. and you see what I'm talking about. It's pushing the majority of this out of here. We've still got some clouds around. Look closely, though. It shows down to earth with some weaknesses in the clouds. In fact, I have gone outside here recently at Fox 17 and just to confirm that the snow is basically over here locally, you can see the moon through the clouds. So that cloud deck is thinning out just a bit and that will help to allow the mercury to drop down into the upper teens to around 20 degrees to start. Here we are at 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. That's uh, this coming morning and maybe a flurry or two but again nothing accumulating watch your driving though that pavement is damp it could be slippery refreezing again in the overnight with these temperatures down into the upper teens and we'll have waves of clouds around on Wednesday it can be some weak spots maybe a little bit of dim sun perhaps especially the further south you reside maybe making it as far north as Grand Rapids there by the uh, during the afternoon at some point but I think mostly cloudy the way to go and look at these temperatures I mean this is one of our coldest days of the season at 24 but Janice we're actually going to rise tomorrow evening winds picking up out of the southwest we'll see numbers rise to around 30 by midnight and then into the mid 30s on Thursday a couple flurries on Friday as a cold front sweeps on through it's going to be cold and blustery wind chills in the teens Friday Saturday next chance of snow could be some light accumulations again by Sunday Anthony thanks many medical procedures